This is Zunda Channel, where we interview the top and successful players in various professions, cybersecurity, IT, business, farming, politics, religion, health, and any outstanding community achievement. Our guests give us a unique career life journey. This gives us an inside information which inspires and gives direction to the young people in choosing career path. Welcome to Zunda Channel. My name is Jack Monga. Relax as we speak to our guest today. I will introduce you as, as Mr. Isaac Murugwa. Right, uh, this afternoon we are talking to Mr. Isaac Murugwa, who is um, uh, an extension officer of the Minister of Agriculture. But uh, to demonstrate what he's doing with uh, farming, he's got his uh, garden here at home. As you can see, he's done uh, some uh, potatoes in the bags, and these potatoes are planted in the bags in a way that uh, uh, to conserve actually the land, you know. Okay, so I'm going to ask Mr. Isaac Mulwa to take us through his project here, what he's doing. Okay, so here he is, Mr. Mulwa here. Can you tell us a little bit more about the uh, these uh, uh, green, well, the manure that we've just been uh, loading in the bags here. Okay. So what's the, what's, the, what's the composition of the soil, uh, the manure, and it's starting from the, 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 the packaging itself. If you can take us through what's the advantage of doing this, uh, this type of uh, uh, um, you know, farming. Okay. In the first place, eh, um, I want to say, when you have the soil, mm -hmm. you have your substrate. Uh -huh. When you have your soil, you have your substrate. So you, you just need a few things for you to start mm -hmm. your project. Mm -hmm. In this case, the soil that I'm using is mm. a bit clay. Mm -hmm. uh, I, ca I can say it is a um, uh, clay and uh, also a little bit of uh, a little bit of uh, uh, loam. So it's a clay loam. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, but uh, for me to prepare it, right, uh, I had to dig it while I was getting it there near the hunting. Okay. And uh, and then I have to uh, mix it at least uh, with a little bit of uh, grass, mm -hmm. uh, so that when grass decomposes right in the bag there, mm -hmm. um, it makes up the soil to be uh, nutrients right, right. and also uh, the, the circulation of the water uh -huh. right in the soil uh, by using the the, uh, the grass it helps very very much mm -hmm. okay now the preparation of uh, the uh, the soil in the bag and to put it in the bag and also the uh, what i'm using is the soil and the, the grass and also uh, chicken manure okay uh, so I have to first put in the soil mm -hmm. which goes up to maybe some 20 to 25 centimeters okay and then from there I had a little bit of grass mm -hmm. so that the soil is loosened that the soil the water penetrates well mm -hmm. in the soil mm -hmm. and then from there after the grass, I had a little bit, uh, maybe I can say just two shovels right. of the soil. Okay. Then from there, I had a quarter of chicken manure. Okay. A quarter of chicken manure. Mm -hmm. uh, that is a quarter of a shovel mm -hmm. of chicken manure. Mm -hmm. I put it on top. Okay. Why chicken manure? Why a quarter of chicken manure? Chicken manure is good. Mm -hmm. But when it's put in abundance, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you the the tomatoes can yeah. develop a lot of foliage mm -hmm. and uh, we see very few fruits. Okay. So for me to make up the soil to be nutritious, eh, mm -hmm. I just have to add a little bit of manure okay. so that the soil uh, makes up its own um, um, nutrients well. Mm -hmm. Then mm -hmm. from there, before I plant, right. I have to water uh, this bag. Mm -hmm for about uh, four days. Okay. So that the manure, uh, uh, 
I reduce the the acidity mm -hmm. of the manure. Okay. And also the nutrients in the manure goes and mixes with the soil. Mm -hmm. So that when they when that is ready, mm -hmm. the plant can start developing and can establish very, very well and it can be looking um, good. You're right. Now uh, I've run through how they have uh, mixed and how I've uh, packa packaged mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the soil in the past, mm -hmm. but uh, I want to put across the reasons for why the green plastic, why the plastic, <coughs> and why also using the uh, the bags from the bags, the empty bags of cement. Mm -hmm. Okay, we don't have to throw anything. When you have a little space mm -hmm. uh, at your yard, yeah. you don't have enough space, you don't have enough soil, you can come up with the soil. Mm -hmm. So whatever you can see on the ground, you, you can come up with your own nutritional soil by adding all this which I've gone through. Mm -hmm. So I have to get uh, these plastic bags. These are just common plastic bags which we use. Eh? Mm -hmm. uh, to package our things when we are buying from shop. <coughs> yeah. Then you cut the bottom part okay. of the plastic. Right. Like this. When you have cut when you have when you have you have done the cutting of the bag mm -hmm. of, of the plastic mm -hmm. from the bottom part and then you get an empty sack. Yeah. Uh, then you put it inside the sack mm -hmm. and the bottom part where I'm cutting uh, uh, where I'm removing this part mm -hmm. it should be up and the where the handles for this plastic mm -hmm. are right. should be down in the bag there okay so you put it like this you get your bag and then you put it like that mm -hmm. you see the bottom part of the plastic yeah. becomes the top part yeah, yeah. in the sack yeah. and then you do it that way then you start pouring your soil, your soil there mm -hmm. now why the plastic? Mm -hmm. uh, these sacks when you plant in a sack without the plastic inside it mm -hmm. you will be watering but the water will be coming out from the sides of the sack right, right. and the, the management is going to be very very difficult for you mm -hmm. and you'll even get that and you may even fail to continue to continue managing your your crop right but when you put the plastic in there mm -hmm. the soil will always remain moisture mm -hmm. and that will help the plant to grow well mm -hmm. and to give you what you want at mm -hmm. the end of the day right, right. so that's why we use the plastic if we if you have a sack which is bonded with plastic inside mm -hmm. then you are good to go okay. you can use it right. that way right. but if you don't have it you you can use the plastic as i've done it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. so there's no way to say i don't have this i don't have this. you can still manage your 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 project well okay. so that's the the proper use of the plastic and also the bags from uh, the empty bags of cement mm -hmm. okay yes. okay so now uh, I, I see here what some uh, uh, potatoes which are the uh, the chips potatoes eh? yes so um, what uh, is the composition in terms of manure the same y used here the same as the one we have just been producing here okay. or it's a different type of uh, mixture that uh, that is there in uh, potatoes yeah what i can say is the soil that i i use for planting potatoes mm -hmm. is a bit different from the soil which i'm using for planting uh, tomatoes okay the reason is simple with potatoes we get the the tube mm -hmm. in the soil that's yeah. where the potatoes grow right, right. but with the tomatoes we get the the fruits on mm. top of the soil mm -hmm. so the soil where i am planting the 
potatoes matters very, very much. Right. Because if I plant like these uh, potatoes, if I plant the tubes in the soil which is hard, mm -hmm. the expansion of the, the, the roots or the tubes mm -hmm. in the hard soil uh, is going to be compromised. Right. If it's going to be crooked, some potatoes will be crooked because of failing to expand well. Right, right. But when the soils are well, they are, are soft mm -hmm. and, the, and the, they are like a sandy loam, mm -hmm. uh, the potatoes bulge and expand well and you can harvest good. But so in that case, mm -hmm. I have to come up with the, the soil right, right. Uh, for potatoes. Mm -hmm. So the composition of this soil which I made for potatoes, mm -hmm. uh, I got um, I got some I did some compost manure, okay. uh, which I've done uh, at the back of the at the back of the ma of my house, mm -hmm. and I also had to get some sun, mm -hmm. uh, and also had to get some topsoil, right. And then also uh, uh, the wood shavings, shavings which we we say sawdust, sawdust. Sawdust, yeah. Yes. So now this composition, uh, this this is the mixture mm -hmm. which I had to uh, to mix together. Okay. So what I did is uh, I got all these uh, the 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 sands, the topsoil and also the compost and also uh, the wood shavings, the, the sawdust mm -hmm. and then mix mm -hmm. uh, then come up with a very soft uh, soil whereby the potatoes can grow easily uh, the roots can go down easily and okay. also the, the tubes can grow easily and can expand mm -hmm. uh, according to uh, the management that you are doing mm -hmm. to the potatoes that's the composition Okay. And we see when you look at the bags for for the potatoes, mm -hmm. where I planted potatoes, mm -hmm. I didn't uh, put plastic in there. Okay. The reason is simple. The soil is like sandy, sandy loam. Okay. And uh, it has a lot of uh, a lot of uh, compost. Okay. So the water goes in down easily mm -hmm. without even uh, penetrating on the side of the side coming out on the side of the side right so right. the water goes down easily okay and that makes my management uh, very easy right, right so the composition of the soil matters very very much uh -huh. when you are doing potatoes mm -hmm. i've seen some people just uh, digging trenches putting potatoes and then at the end of the day they say no i didn't have it uh, enough mm -hmm. So the packaging of the soil now goes like this. I had to put the that composition of the soil which I had to make mm -hmm. up to uh, this height, okay. which is uh, about uh, 20 mm -hmm. or 15 to 20 centimeters from the bottom. Okay. Then from there, I had to pushing the tubes mm -hmm. of course the preparation of the tubes already was done okay the practical example which i can give i how how i do it mm -hmm. is here these have not even germinated yet okay i just planted them uh, some three days ago right yes this is the the first package of the soil. Mm -hmm. That's about 15, 15 to 20 centimeters. Mm -hmm. Then I had to push in the the, the seed. Mm -hmm. I don't cut the seed in pieces mm -hmm. so that I can plant in many bags. Right. There is uh, re there is the my reason is I want the seed to give me a lot of potatoes. Okay. Because when I cut it in pieces, of which it is good, mm -hmm. especially when you have a lot of space. Right. Yeah. Uh, but in this case, I'm trying to manage it on a small space in mm -hmm. the bag. 
Yeah. So for me to harvest a lot of potatoes, mm -hmm. I have just to push in a well-prepared uh, uh, shoot, shoot mm -hmm. uh, in the in the soil. Right. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. already they are shoots in the in here. Mm -hmm. That's how I do it. Now when the when the potatoes have germinated, mm -hmm. they have germinated, they start growing, mm -hmm. maybe up to this height. Mm -hmm. The plant grows up to this height. Mm -hmm. I start pushing in a soil. Right. A soil which I've already made, which is here. A well prepared soil. Right. Of of which the composition of this soil mm -hmm. I've already explained. Okay, it's yeah. compost. Yeah. It's a bit of sand. Mm -hmm. It's uh, a bit of sawdust, mm -hmm. and everything is there. Right. So when they have grown a bit, I start adding on. Mm -hmm. The simple reason is the Irish potatoes mm -hmm. do not grow, do not develop at the bottom of the tree. Right, right. They develop going upwards, mm -hmm. following the stem. Right, right. So in this case, when the potatoes have grown up to this height, mm -hmm. I'll start up to this height. Mm -hmm. I'll start pushing in the soil. Okay. Pushing in the soil. Pushing in the soil. Mm -hmm. And it will look like it. Uh, these which have grown up to this level. Right. It will look like these which have grown up to this level. Mm -hmm. So all this bag will be full of potatoes. Right. Mm. These are, are only 60 days old. Right. Uh, by 90 days, I'll be harvesting. Okay. Uh, okay. By 90 days, I'll be. They will be ready. I'll be harvesting. So, in terms of the yield, what? Uh, uh, how many cages do you expect uh, to yield per bag? Uh, from uh, this, what you have planted here. The bag. What I can say, it uh, all depends with the management that you are pushing in. Mm -hmm. uh, in this project. Okay. So, according to the management, like in this bag, mm -hmm. I can harvest up to maybe uh, not less than a 15 good sizable potatoes. Right. Which I can say can be in the range of uh, uh, maybe. Uh, Maybe four kgs. Right. Maybe four kgs. Mm -hmm. uh, on the minimum side. Okay. Uh, four kgs. But on the maximum side, maybe I can have it up to uh, mm. five kgs. Mm -hmm. Okay. That, uh. is, that all depends upon management, how mm. I'm managing mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. potatoes. Like the way I've managed them. Yeah. Uh, I'm able to get even up to uh, a five. A uh, three to four kgs right right of potatoes per bag okay okay yeah. so now are uh, these potatoes you planted here are they for uh business or they're just for food sustainability within the household uh, uh mm. these uh for food uh-huh they are within the household okay but the surplus of which we can sell uh -huh. And we can, this is also a capital for the next project of right, the same. Right, right. So we'll get feed from this uh -huh. and we'll get also for our breakfast or for food. Right. And the supplies we are, we are going to sell. Right. So yeah. from this, mm -hmm. I can say, I'm not going to buy potatoes again for food. Mm -hmm. This, I'll be getting seed from this and as well as food from the same. Right, right. Yeah. Okay. Very good. So let's move on to your tomatoes here. I see you have got very good uh, tomato fruits here, which are really looking very, very uh, healthy. Yeah. So now uh, uh, you have explained how you mix your soil and the tomatoes and uh, how you plant them. So looking at this now, what are you expecting okay, to get in terms of the yield per plant? Uh, I can see a very good uh, uh, you know, for production here. You know. Yeah, per plant I can say if I continue managing, that is adi adding a little bit of uh, um, fertilizer like uh, tea compound and also a little bit of manure so that it continues growing, mm -hmm. uh, I can get even up to half, half box 
Mm-hmm. They plant. Right. A proper management I can get up top to plant. So per box, uh, you are talking about uh, how? M- what's the size of the box? Is it uh, okay? Let's put it in the terms of probably the the kilos, the kgs. Kgs. Yes. What? Uh, h- h- what's the weight of the uh, each, each box that you get that 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 you can get that can yield from uh, this production here? About uh, thirty kgs. Okay. Uh, so half is uh, sixteen. Uh huh. Right, so that's uh, from just one stock, eh? Just from one, 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 plant. one plant, eh? Yes. Mm. Uh, mm. About mm. Half. If you have not, if you have failed to to go to um, the yield of half the the bag, 